one thing I, I'm telling you all. The mind, the IQ level of the people Ikhwan is going low. Very, very low as days go by. That something that clear today, people who are that dumb. What, what, what did he do? All these, the other day one young little kid came and the whole of the city, the girls of the whole, or not the whole, astaghfirullah, like in a lot of them, they went, sisters, I went back to see what this is. What does this little boy do? Ha. I looked into the internet. I looked at what he does. All he does is pranks. War. Billahi alaykum. I ask you by the, with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How could this individual become somebody he's giving? How? When? But again, I reminded myself, even when Dajjal comes, and he's got one eye missing, and he says, I'm ilah, the people still follow him. And not one person amongst the people will recognize, say, well, if you're ilah, where's your other eye? That's how the IQ of the people have gone low, 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 low as days goes by. People who are not nothing, have no importance, becomes what? Becomes the people you want to follow. You want to dress like them. You want to die into cars were about to run over some of the sisters. Car, Allah. They were about to get run over. And I went back. Maybe this guy is alim. Maybe they love the religion that he possesses. Maybe he's a talib ilm. I went back and see what he's who, who is he? Ajaib. Nothing. No hikmah. All day. Huh? This is how I put my imama on. This is how I dress in the morning. This is all it was. And peep, 20,000, 2 million people are watching this. And then there are ulama on YouTube. <laughs> their, link, their, their, view, their views are what? 100, 20, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, maximum. Huh? These people will put it today, tomorrow it will be 7 million, 8 million that will watch it. And then I'm going to ask all brothers a question. Is Allah going to uplift from us what's happening in Palestine? Is Allah going to uplift from us the pain that the Muslims are suffering from what's happening in Syria? All of that is Allah going to uplift when the reality of the Ummah is like this. Inna Allah la yughheiru ma bi qawmin hatta yheiru ma bi anfusihim. Wallahi Allah won't. And the situation of the Ummah will get worse, worse, worse until the Ummah stop what they are doing. And they go back to exactly what the righteous, pious predecessors were upon. Ilman wa amalan wa atiqada. In terms of their knowledge, you follow their knowledge. In terms of their actions, you follow their actions. And in terms of their belief, you become their belief. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the seer and the stories of those prophets, why was he telling us about it? This story isn't just something you laid back and say, wow, this is, is this what happened to Yusuf alayhi salam? Oh, they threw him in a well. This is not what the reality of the story is for brothers. It is that you follow his patience, his sabr, his call to his tawheed. Even in prison, they were still calling to tawheed. These are our examples. Wallahi al -Azim. I always hear on the Muslim mouth, oh, we don't have role models. Kazab wa kazib. He's a liar who never says we don't have role models. We've got the best of role models. We are the people who live this life in this world just for the hereafter. With these people, they want from you something. They don't do anything for you in that they love you for. They don't. Our role models, they came and they set us examples. They came to be people, to Ikhwani, the Sahabas. I mentioned in the biography of the Sahabas when I was talking about it. The Sahabas, Ridwan, Allahim, they were never known. Abu Bakr, who knew him before Islam? What was he before Islam? What was he before Isa Umar? What was Uthman? What was Ali? They were nothing. They were nothing to be mentioned. But when Islam came and they took it wholeheartedly and they, in their households, outside, on the streets and everything, when they implemented it, what did Allah do for them? The whole world, it came under their fists. In five seconds, I can tell you the solution of the Muslims all around the world. Which is what? Allah will not lift from you this, this pain and uh, problem. Until you go back to your faith. It's all it is, Wallah. Go back to the sources in which we bayyauha that you have forsaken. I and you, we all done it. We've forsaken part of the religion. When we go back, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, okay, now you're entitled for it. When now Israel, Israel was bombing Gaza and what was happening, the Muslims were getting 
Well, Muslims were watching World Cup in Palestine, in Palestine. Forget the ones outside. In Palestine, in Gaza, some were actually watching in, uh, in the World Cup. And we, we say, Allah, why is it what's happened? And we're sad about these people's situation. This is the wallahi, it's a waq, reality which is the ummah need to go back. And they have to wake up and have to understand why else our sisters are acting like that. Our brothers are acting like that. The mashayikh and the people are calling the people to the deed are lying and deceiving the people to take money and make benefit from the people. If the ummah, all of them, they all come back to that source as it is, Allah Allah will uplift from the ummah the suffering and the pain that they're in. But what we want to do is not talk about it, not bring it up, or even give ourselves temporary solutions. That's all we want to do. Let's do after them after all our brothers. But Allah is good. Like there are big matters that we're not doing for the ummah. Wallahi, we're not doing it for the ummah. Mm -hmm. And it's Wallahi sad.